welcome dear students today we will begin with unit 1 of c programming in unit 1 we will be learning introduction to programming language and problem solving methodologies in the first unit we will be learning the different concepts such as introduction to computer programming languages and its classifications steps for problem solving and we will look into the examples of algorithm and flow chart how to write the algorithms and flow charts we will be learning at the end of this particular unit 1 in today's session we will try to understand the introduction to the computer part so basically the word computer has come from the concept like the to compute or to calculate basically the computer does some type of valuation or calculation based upon a data let us try to understand the definitions here i have put up with different definitions the first and very uh, simple way of defining a computer could be that computer is an electronic machine that can store recall and process the data so let us try to understand the words used in this particular definition we say that computer is an electronic device or electronic machine because the components of the computer are made up from electronic items so we call it as an electronic machine or an electronic device what it can do it can store the data it can recall the data and it processes the data means if we provide certain input to the computer based upon our input it can access and it can store that data and it try to calculate certain task or certain process on the data so the first definition would be computer is an electronic machine or an electronic device that can store recall and process the data let us try to study the def second definition little in broader perspective computer is an electronic machine that performs tasks or complex calculation according to a set of instructions or programs now you might see here some new words which are used in the definition too in the definition one you might see the word process that word process is elaborated in the definition too the electronic machine that is an computer it performs certain task or it calculates certain complex calculations according to a predefined set of instructions or programs based upon the instructions what we have given to the computer or the what we call it as the programs based upon those set of instructions or we can tell how to calculate what data has to be calculated and how it has to be processed that information based upon that particular information the computer will be processing the data and will be providing the results okay the definition 3 let us try to understand where we try to put the most of the information okay computer is an electronic device which is capable of receiving data in a particular form and of performing a sequence of operations in accordance with the predetermined but variable set of procedural instructions to produce a result in the form of information you may find this this particular definition is very textbookish let us try to understand what it tries to describe here now we said that computer what it does it calculates certain things so in order to calculate something if what it requires it requires a data and what type of information or what type of calculation it has to do that instructions we need to provide we in the sense the user or a programmer need to provide it to the computers so the data here will be like the data what we are giving it for the processing and what are the prerequisites or the what are the sequence of operations we need to do in order to calculate or in order to process that has to be given to the computer based upon that particular information the computer will process and will give us the results and the results will be in the form of information 
you may see two different words here the first one is data which we give it to the computer and the what computer gives us back is can be referred as information and the processing part what it does it will be based upon the type of data or the data we have given and the what type of operations we have asked the computer to perform i hope the definitions are clear to you students for the point of examination if a question is asked what is a computer in order to get two marks i request you to write the third definition third definition will give grant you full two marks in the examination now let us try to understand something called as ipo cycle so ipo here i stands for input p stands for process and o output so ipo cycle means the computer as we discuss in the definition we need to provide something to the computer for processing that something can be provided as an input as an input to the computer for processing the thing what we provide to the computer as input we refer it to be a data and once the processing is completed and the computer gives us something as the output that output we call it as an information the information will be always something a meaningful data which has been come after processing the input what we provide to the computer is data and what computer gives us back after processing can be given named as information so this particular cycle or the flow we call it as ipo cycle or ipo flow input process and output in computers we always come up with the two words that is data and the information these two terms are more common okay let us try to understand what is the exact difference between the data and the information the data is always a kind of a unprocessed items unprocessed item in the sense that those are going to be the raw facts or the figures or the statistics based upon which we are going to do certain operations in order to get certain meaningful information so data is can be defined as what it is a collection of raw facts figures or statistics which require to be processed the data can be what it can be a text like your name your first name or your or your last name or it could be the numbers like your roll numbers or it could be the marks which you obtained in the examinations or it could be even the images or it could be in the audio format files or it could be in the video format files so uh, anything which we are providing to the student uh, to the computer as the raw facts or the raw data we can name it as the data or unprocessed item suppose if we want to calculate the total number of marks which you have obtained in your previous examination and calculate the uh, percentage you obtained so in order to do this processing you require what raw facts so raw facts could be what here the data could be what here it could be your name or your register number or the roll number or it could be your marks of the say if you uh, from puc if you want to calculate for the puc second year it could be six subject marks so name register number and six subject marks will be what it will be data which will be given to the computer for processing in order to calculate some meaningful information what will be that meaningful information that will be processed data that you are getting it as the total number of marks which you have scored and the percentage you have obtained so information what we can define as the computer processed data and this information always conveys a useful meaning based upon the raw facts what we have given to the computer so in the ipo cycle when you see here the input what we provide to the computer for processing is going to be the data which is the raw facts and once the processing is completed and what it gives us back is the output what we call it as a processed data or the information which provides a meaningful information 
to the user. The next concepts are hardware and software. Okay. So always a computer, when we say it can have two types, two things, one is the hardware and second is the software. So hardware basically means what? Anything which is a machinery parts or a physical parts of the computer, we can call them as the hardware and software is nothing but it is a set of programs or the instructions what we provide to the computer in order to perform a certain tasks. Okay. Or in a general term, we can say the software is what? Uh, the programs that tell computer what to do, how to do kind of informations. I hope the concepts are students. So far we had come across with different keywords, different terminologies. Let us try to understand each of those terms with an example. For example, here in the definitions of the computer, we have mentioned something like a store recall. Okay, then in the definition two, we had mentioned instructions or the programs. In definition three, we have something like receiving data in a particular form, performing a sequence of operations, predetermined, but variable set. So each one of these terminologies, we will try to understand with respect to an examples. If you could understand the example, then the definitions will be very easy to remember. Okay, let us see the example students. Now, let us take an, one particular programming example and let us try to put the those terms with respect to the data process and the information. Earlier, what we have seen, we have seen that the with respect to the programming, we will be having something called as the data and information. We have studied now that data is nothing but a kind of a raw fact, okay, which could be a text or it could be numbers, it could be images or a videos. Process where the we try to work upon, we try to manipulate the data in order to provide what a meaningful information. For example, here, if the we have a student name, student register number and marks of six subjects as our data. Now you see that here the data are what? raw facts. Name is a raw fact, student register number we have and the marks are there. Six subject marks are there. We need to process this raw data that is raw facts in order to provide a meaningful information. So meaningful information would be what here? The total number of marks the particular student has scored in the examination and the percentage. So the total and the percentage would be the meaningful information which would be processed based upon the data of that particular student. Okay, now the instruction set. So instruction set or the program means what? We need to do what? We need to calculate total and percentage. In order to calculate total and percentage, we should require a certain set of flow. Means what? We need to first, you would have seen that in the one of the definition, store the data, recall the data, process the data, right? So those particular words store, recall and process means what? When we provide the data as part of our input that we have studied earlier, IPO flow or IPO cycle that is input process and output. So in the input as part of input, we would be providing the data, right? So data could be what the name we will provide here, student register number, number we will provide and the marks of the six subjects we will provide. So all these data have to be stored in the computer memory for processing so what the computer has to do, it has to store that particular information, that, that particular data. Say if the student name is Harish, that Harish has to be stored in the computer. If the register number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that register number has to be stored in the computer memory. And the six subject marks, definitely all those six subject marks should be get stored onto the computer memory. So that will be doing by the computer itself. Why it has to store? Because later it requires that data for processing. Because it has to recall that particular data. Recall means say the in order to calculate total, it has to, it, it is in need of 
marks of the six subjects that is for example here 60 75 78 90 75 and 85 are the six subject marks which we have given as part of our data that is part of our input so this have to be read by the computer and it should be stored over there and once the calculation we need to do what type of the calculation for the process we need to add all these information that all this data in order to retrieve the or in order to calculate total once the total is calculated again this total has to be stored in the computer memory why it has to store because we need this particular total for calculating percentage in the later section so again we need to call what we need to recall the data so this 465 is something which I, which the computer has processed but this 465 463 has to be recalled this total has to be recalled in order to calculate total so in order to calculate the percentage sorry for the percentage in order to calculate the percentage what we need to do we need to give the instruction saying that you read the value which you have calculated as total and that value you divide it by six because there are six subjects so total divided by six you do it so once you do that one you get the value that value you have to again store as percentage so we are giving a set of instructions instructions means you read all the five six subjects marks then what you do you calculate the total and store within you and in order to calculate the percentage you read that that is you recall the again the total value which you have already processed and divide that particular total by six and then calculate the percentage and store within the computer memory so all this processing has to be done in order to do this particular processing it has to store the data recall the data whenever it is required and then process it based upon the instruction set so whatever the instruction we give based upon that instruction set the processing will be happening and once the all processing is completed then that information the processed data has to be given to the user as part of output so what will be the output here we will be getting see here student name equal to harish student register number equal to 12345 total equal to 463 percentage equal to 77.16 now do you think see that this information what we have it provides us a meaningful information based upon the data what we had if you try to compare data and the meaning that is information here data what we had the name we had given register number we had given and six subject marks were there all were raw facts six subject marks were the raw facts what we did we gave certain instructions in order to calculate total and then calculate percentage and that total and percentage we are getting it as an information a proper a meaningful information here so this is what how we can correlate the uh, definitions and all other terminologies with respect to the example i hope student this particular explanation is understood if still if you are having any doubts you just put in the comments in the youtube video i will definitely get in touch with you in clearing the doubts thank you students